Hey guys, welcome back to our new video. In today's video, we are really, honestly, we're just gonna get started on our CYT crunch because like I said, um, probably in the last two recent videos is that I was gonna redo and rewrap this whole front end and this um, because it is starting to lift up and it's and all, but it's because when we first did it, we didn't take it apart and do it right. Like the whole other truck, we were I was just lazy and just said, if I could leave like that, and everything but this time we're gonna do it the right way and take it all apart and redo it but i probably won't be there to do it so i'll probably just get uriel to record some parts and if not um and if i am able to be there and go help him out then i'll sh i'll like, record the process but yeah right now we're about to take off my bumper and this right here either i'm gonna leave i'm gonna go straight down right here and this right here be green and this silver but all this down here will be silver because um, I was trying to go like straight down and also here on <clears throat> green, but <laughs> since the truck be, hits everywhere, um, I think it'll just be rather it'll be it'll be more smarter to do gray or silver, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, because and if I put because if I put wrap, and you're just gonna see it be tearing up, so yeah, probably just do green here, uh, actually, a little green strip here so it can look a little smoother. I don't know, I'll probably think about it and if i like how it, i'll probably just test it out first and if i like it then i will do it but yeah let's get this done take this bumper off and get it to you okay guys before we start taking off uh the front end like i said my bumper and grill because the grill is really easy just pulling it out and this is just probably like two three bolts no th two or four bolts i'm gonna show you what else i'm trying to do before cyt like you already know because of the eights my truck just hits and hits and hits um and scrubs i'm gonna have to do my front tubs so that's already on the way um i'm trying to I'm, i know there's brackets you can buy it's already a kit for sale or they sell like a whole kit for to move that um your battery your what's your whatever the fuck that's called well hold your antifreeze and i know you're supposed to get like a small little coat intake right here so um the only problem is is that i have this other battery so honestly what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make my own brackets for everything because i can just literally look at a picture and just weld my own parts together and this is gonna be the only problem which i don't know where i'm gonna be able to put this at so hopefully i can just either squeeze it in here somehow because the fuse box is supposed to be somewhere here like right here close to the everything so it'll be here the tubs will probably come up to here and this might be in might honestly be okay but i don't know everything else would be good and my coated air intake like i said it'll just have a small one right here and that will over there be fixed and if not i'll just have to move this probably somewhere down there make a bracket for it so it can hold up but yeah other than that that'll be done for the front end just getting the brackets getting the brackets made and the front tubs yeah. and you can tell um i already took out my grill i started taking off the wrap so it'll be easier for it yeah so whenever i drop it off you just have to rewrap it and i'll probably respray that silver part to be a little bit more brighter also that and where the um, fog lights are at all you need to do to take this bumper off is get what number is this well this one's a 13 16 so yeah one there one here and the whole damn thing should fall off but i also have another bracket down there i only did that because it was starting to sag and it closed my gap so yeah let me get that done and pull it off and take it apart and i'll show you what i'm gonna leave here for me to paint and what i'm gonna take to it yeah okay so we got the bumper off like i told you just this one and one right there and that one bracket that I put on that side, so because that side was starting to lean down, so yeah, I put that one, that one bracket on that side. This side was good. So what I'm gonna do, you see all these screws that I put in a long time ago? I'm gonna take those off, and this whole part, bottom part, is gonna fall fall apart. Well, it's gonna not gonna fall apart. It's gonna come off, and then um, I have to take these screws out, so this top part comes off, and then the middle part and the top part will be separated, and then this this whole piece right here will be by itself together. Like I said. Those are the only two pieces that I'm going to go take to with you and the grill. 
to get this joint looking good. The front end looking spicy. But yeah, let me get taking this off. Let me good. Well, there used to have it, guys. I took off the wrap of these and these. Um, the only reason it came out fast is because it took off the whole first layer, or well, last layer of paint. And I'm also gonna go over it, like with um, a, with like the filler, to fill it in, make sure it's smooth, really smooth, and then probably put clear on top of it, and on that one. Um, this one still haven't done it. I have to take the emblem off, and it seems to. Like, well, I mean, it's hard up there. I guess it's stuck to the wrap because I can pull it. I can pull it off, but it's gonna come over the wrap. So, um, yeah, I have to do this shit right now. <laughs> it's the last piece, honestly. And um, here are the pieces that I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep just these. I'm probably gonna get Jordan to. Um, I mean, if I wash them, they'll probably come out clear. But if not, I'll probably get Jordan to um, uh, clean them out. Make them polish them out, make them look clear, crystal clear. Also, my headlights, even though they're not bad, but I'm just gonna get them to do that. And yeah, literally, how the truck looks right now, as of right now. Um, like I said, gotta get these done. Um, uh, when the tubs get here, the truck probably stay here, or I'll probably take it to Gilmore's crib and put it inside the shop and start doing the whole rebuild of the front end. So basically, though, yeah, basically, yeah. I don't know. There you have the parts that we're gonna take to Odia. Like I said, um, I'll probably respay. I'll probably spay this before I give it to Odia, so it's already done, and he can just do the wrap and wrap this one and this one. And when this one comes back, um, I never told y'all, but I got hit, and this little piece right here broke, as you can tell right there. There's one right there. There was one right here. It broke off, but luckily, I found it, and it's right here right there i'm gonna try to plastic weld it up there again or i'll just probably put the gorilla um super glue thing on it and hopefully it stays up and it stays flush with this so it looks good so yeah you got that off now whenever the tubs get here like i said these vendor and that fender will come off and we'll see what gamer wants to do do it here or do it over there and whatever whatever he wants to do, we'll do it. Cause as you can tell, got no turn radius. But uh, I have to figure out how to do this. Never done this. Me and Gilmar never done this. So like I said, like I've always told you, we just figure it out while we do it. But yeah, let's just take these two with you and wait till the tubs get here. Well guys, we ran into some problems. Um, I did get the air intake yesterday. As you see right here, it's brand new. I took the other one off. Like I told you in previous videos. Um, it has to be up here. But me thinking, oh, I'm just going to put it and slide it in, you know. But I forgot about this plug-in. So, I have it here. I mean, it's a little connector. But the thing is, I need to connect this to this. And then the filter goes in the end, you know. So, I, I just ordered the um, little, like um what is it called um i don't know what it's really called but it's just like a plastic piece that goes over this and over this and the clamps and in the end it'll just be like this it's basically gonna look like this but with the little plug in you know so yeah i gotta wait for that and right now what i'm gonna do so whenever i get the tubs and well tomorrow the tubs are gonna get here but so when they get here i can just right away start on all that so i'm taking off my hood right now and I'm gonna take both my my fenders off. I'll probably leave my headlights in there. I don't know if I if I would if I need to take them off, I'll take them off. But yeah, my whole front end is about to be gone. Literally, it's gonna look like a. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna be missing a third, one third of my whole truck. But yeah, let's get to it because there's a lot of bolts to take these fenders off. Here we have it, guys. The last part um, that we needed for the L filter, like I told you, it was just this little plastic piece or rubber piece, whatever, whatever you want to call it, I guess. Um, it's just, I got it from Amazon for uh, input and output, you know. Basically, I put it in there and I make it out, come out through here. So, just enough. Well, just so this plug, where's the plug at again? God damn, I lost it. Over here. Don't worry, it's not, it's not that it won't reach. It's just, it's, it's zip tied right there, so as y'all see. But yeah, now y'all kind of figured out, y'all kind of see what I'm trying to do, you know. That's how it's going to end up being, but I still got to unplug, um, cut, cut the wire there. Or the zip ties there and make it have a little bit more play so it don't be stretched out like this but yeah basically how it looks it's gonna look right there and here's a sneak peek of the next video
like I told you it's coming along quite well right now so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and peace Una es la que me acompaña para todos lados